In this clip, we're going to look at calming devices and how we use them to create protection opportunities on a route or on the top of a crag. Devices such as this Dragon Cam are sprung loaded with a number of moving parts, placing pressure on the sides of the crack to withstand a pull down the line of the stem. As with any protection, they require quite a lot of judgment, both in the quality of the rock and in how the device is orientated based on the direction of pull. Where these devices work well is where we're limited with constrictions and tapers in the crack or where we have horizontal breaks and parallel sided cracks. That cam's good for a outward pull. And one thing with all our cams movement in the rope can cause the cam to move in the crack so it's well worth extending using a quick draw or an extender to reduce the chances of the cam being flicked. What we do now is we look at a range of placements that suit different sizes of cams. So here we have a horizontal crack in the sandstone that's going to lend itself well to a piece of protection but the shape of the rock is not going to allow us to use a nut. So we're going to have to look at using a cam placement. The crack is different widths and slightly different shapes. So we're going to look at a number of options and discuss which one we might prefer. In an ideal world, we want to place the cam so that around about in the middle of its range, not too wide, and not too bunched up. I usually notice when the tips begin to cross or the cam wheels are around about 90 degrees. This is perfect. So I'm going to place my first cam in the constriction just here. Straight away I can see that the cam wheels are squeezed too tightly together. So I'm going to see if the smaller size suits this placement better. Perfect. If I tried a much bigger cam here, we would have to place it very close to the front of the crack. And whilst it appears to grip I notice that the rock is potentially more friable here and a little bit grittier. A better option here, if I'm forced to use a larger cam, would be a different placement, not so close to the edge. Again, at a good range of the cam and a nice placement. In this example of a vertical crack, we don't have a constriction, but we have a nice parallel sided crack with good quality rock. So that cam looks a little bit under cam, so I'm going to try the next size up. Perfect. So in conclusion, calming devices are great pieces of kit to have on your harness. A little bit more complex and more technical than nuts and wires, but perfect for placements such as parallel sided cracks or other items of protection won't fit. For other elements of rock climbing and other ideas and tips for protection, please see some of the other boxes or subscribe to our YouTube channel.